charting tracks. Let's talk music. Stevie Wonder, how does he do it? Hi, I'm Robbie. It's Chatting Tracks. Let's talk music. Let's talk music indeed. Welcome to today's episode. We've got an absolute belt for you today. We're going to look at Stevie Wonder's new single, How Can We Fix Our Nation's Broken Heart. Now, it's purely coincidental. I was playing Talking Book the other day, Sunday morning, chilling out, and then they just said he's got a new single coming out. I've not heard it yet. I'm just jumping on you now to check it out. Now, if you're a first-time Stevie Wonder listener, listen to the end, and I'll give you a recommendation on an album you've got to check out because it's absolutely amazing. And without knowing it, you've heard it absolutely everywhere. Anyway, that's enough of me talking about. Let's go into the singles. I can't wait to hear it. Let's go. It's got that groove already, man. So I'm going to recommend an album to you a bit later on, and some of the songs on that album do have this feel to it. It's got that sort of semi-Latin uh, vibe to it. It's like relaxed with Latin. Not salsa, but more. I think it's more of a Latin groove on it. Uh, and it's got that sort of thing going. It sounds really, really cool. Let's do this. Can we fix our nation's broken heart? Are we brave enough to try? Mm-hmm. Can we fix our nation's broken A better world behind Cause if we listen to different thoughts and point of views All my brothers and sisters We don't have to lose humanity See what you it's it's all about uh, the environment and around us and social commentary again that's what I love about Stevie this is a bit like living in the city where he's talked about what's going on around him at the time in 1972, was it, I think it was. Now he's going on about what's happening in the world today. And I love the fact he's going on about, you know, humanity and do we have the nuts to do something about it. It's brilliant. You know, it's social messaging. When people do political songs, if they do it wrong, it becomes captured in that frame of time where he's doing it like he does with Living in the City. And it's a song that's talking about politics, not a political song. And I think this is the way to do it. I'm just loving the vibe. I'm loving his voice in it as well. You, you can hear, a, you know, a 20-year-old Stevie Wonder singing this. This is fantastic. <laughs> family so can we please fix our nation's broken heart children marching on the boulevard tears are streaming down their face oh the tension in the air is so bizarre love is gone without a trace That was a lovely guitar that did that was following the vocal line of the music there. That's a really nice little touch. That's really, really, really nice. It's just, it's got a lovely nylon guitar sound on this, and I'm really, really loving it. He also plays a guitar. I don't know what it's called. It's, it, uh, Stevie, I've seen Stevie play it where it sort of it lays down and he plays it downwards with his fingers. If you know what that is, let me know in the comments. He plays it's sort of a, a laid down guitar. Fantastic. I wonder if he's using that on it rather than a nylon, but it sounds it sounds amazing. Really, really different sound. This madness helped me take away the pain. It's got to change. This can't stay the same. Tell me, please, can we fix our nation's broken heart? All the teen homelessness, can we do away with this? All we need is to be giving. For our daughters and our sons, there's the light in everyone. They deserve a new beginning. That is amazing, still going for that range. He's still going for the range of his age. That's absolutely amazing. Because he could have sung downwards and he could have sung it in a lower note. Like, uh, they deserve a new beginning and gone down. But he went up for the old Stevie Reach. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yeah. Will the light we shall survive the dark? Or will it slowly fade away? Uh, will the light of good be turned? I love the way you've got those sort of uh, Tibetan bells just coming in there, um, just clicking away as well in the background, just to give it a sort of 
uh, mystical sound as well, like a sort of sense of mysticism on the top as well, and like a like a rebirth. I think that's really really cool. There's really l lovely little subtle changes in this, and little subtle movements that are just really creeping in gently. Like, I've, it's really lovely. I mean, it's got a lovely sound. It reminds me of um, the song. Um, the sort of vibe and the laid-backness of it is uh, Blue Moon. I think it's from, is it For A Time To Love, the album? It came out about 15 years ago. It's got that sort of sound to it. Really cool, laid-back vibe. Um, there's no album following this, I've found out, unfortunately. I can't find one anyway. And so it looks like it might just be a single, but we need an album to follow this up because it sounds great. It tears down, but what I found Is with our true compassion and love We can fix our nation's broken arms That is super cool. It's exactly what you'd expect from Stevie Wonder. It's fantastic. I love the fact that they had the Fender Rhodes and it was just going side to side. If you're you listening to headphones on, but it was it was cycling left to right. Um, I love it. It's effortless. It's brilliant songwriting. It's effortless Stevie Wonder. It's just got such a cool chill vibe to it as well. Amazing messaging, as always. Amazing messaging from him. You know, we can fix the problems. We just got to work together. When you look back through Stevie's catalogue, a lot of his albums are the same, you know, like Living in the City, I was saying earlier, you know, it's, you know, things need fixing and we're not fixing things and we need to start doing it as well. You know, um, I have a talk with God off the album I'm going to show in a minute as well. It's the same sort of thing. We've got problems. Talk, talk, talk upstairs and help you out. It, you know, Stevie's just very encouraging with his music and his lyrics. And I think this is another one of those songs where it's a testament to the time and he's going, look, people, we've got to sort this out. And it's, um, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I think it was really, really cool. It's just Stevie. I love Stevie anyway. He, you know, he could you know, have a dog barking in a bag for two hours and I still think it's brilliant. I just think he's one of those brilliant, brilliant songwriters, brilliant, brilliant musicians, you know, Prince level that can do anything, play anything, write anything and nothing phases him. He's absolutely incredible. Now, um, onto the album, I was saying to you that if you're a new Stevie Wonder person to check out, you've got to check out this amazing album, Songs in the Key of Life, uh, come out in 1976, I believe it was. Um, and it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's got uh, Have a Talk With God on it, uh, Village Get Alone, Sir Jukes on it, which is, you might know as a pop hit. You've heard that one before. Um, it's a double album. I wish he's on it, which uh, uh, George Michael covered as well. Uh, this album's got me through some really dark times. It's an amazing thing. When you're down, you put this album on, it just picks you right up. It just tells you that everything's going to be fine and you're going to get there. So um, also, it's been sampled uh, probably as much as James Brown over the years. If you know James Brown's been sampled loads, this album, you probably play this from start to finish and know nearly every sample on it. And go, Actually, I know that song. I know that song because they've sampled this thing to death and quite rightly because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, it's incredible. And when I picked it up, I forgot I had a little single in it as well. I got the I picked this up and I forgot a little um, seven inch in there as well. This is fantastic. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the song. Let me know what your favourite album is of Stevie Wonder. Is your favourite single? Have you seen him live like I did? I'd love to know your comments on it. Let's chat. That's what this channel's about. Talk about music. Why are you here? Why not check out the rest of the channel? We've got um, reaction videos. We've got deep dives. We've got interviews. Um, I go and review things as well. And I've got live streams and all sorts of stuff. So why not check that out? Um, also, are you as well? Because you have to ask. If you can, if you could subscribe, that would be absolutely amazing. Then I get to talk about music all day long. And I uh, just love talking about music. So if you can subscribe and help me out, that would be amazing. If you've already done it, 
Thank you so much, mate. You've absolutely helped me out on my journey to building this channel to be a music channel that people can go to when they want to talk about music and listen to some brand new music or old music. Who knows? Anyway, um, thanks for checking it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to chat about it. I'd love to know your comments. Uh, keep yourself safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Later's love and peace. <laughs>